outside Ben Gel this morning, and we are getting so close to Boogie the Bridge. Joining me, of course, today, the legendary Joe Barry, who's just finished doing a cool down with all of the runners. And then uh, myself, of course, one of the community profilers. We also have Nick Carter joining us today, another community profiler, and Dave Eagles, who is with Camels this week. Nick, and, uh, uh, Nick, thanks for being here. Well, thank you, Susan. How was your trip to Mexico? It was good. I'm still readjusting, but it's so nice to be back in the sunshine, Nick. Dave, how was your run today? Great. Awesome. Loving good. it. Yeah, the weather's perfect. Good. So we're here because we want to talk a little bit about how things have been going so far for everybody that's been doing the run. And so, uh, Joe, first of all, let's start with uh, your thoughts on where things are at. We're, I think, at week six now, aren't we? We are at week six. And the boogie training today, Nick, hey, was amazing. We did a, a, a pyramid workout with our beginners who started with a one-minute run and they did an eight minute run today and uh, an hour on their feet. So seven kilometers. Uh, I'm like a run club mama, like Boogie the Bridge training works. And because of all of our sponsors and community partners, we're making a difference in our community and people's health is changing. So fabulous day, fabulous, fabulous training. So let's talk to you first, Nick. Uh, you know, I know that this is certainly not your first rodeo. You have done Run Club so many times, so you have a really good feel as to how things go. But tell me how it's been for you in this particular Run Club. You're in week six, you're getting set to boogie the bridge. April 27th is like two seconds away. How has the journey been? Well, I'll tell you, for the first time today, Susan, it felt like we went up to four, four minutes for running, and it didn't feel like it was an effort. It was something I really had to work hard at doing. Now, if I drop about 100 pounds, I'll be really happy, but uh, I'm really pleased with the running, and also what I'm pleased about is the fact that uh, I'm still the slow runner, but uh, the run club supports you. Lots of pickups. Wouldn't you say, because this is what I find, I, I do the play work, I do the homework, and I get through it, but I find that I get most of my energy here. Yeah, uh, well, that's all Joe Barry and the coaches. It's they true. get us going, because who else would be up at... Uh, the crack of dawn on a Sunday morning uh, and feeling good if it wasn't for the coaches, they, the crazies that are out there. Absolutely. And Dave Eagles, Camels this week, how are things going for you? What have been the ups and downs for you on this journey? Well, for me, the ups and downs as a first time runner walker, I think I've done this about six years back, but this is really the first time for me, have been basically uh, getting in shape, getting back in shape. It, my feet have kind of been an issue, so I've just decided to take it easy and and not feel bad about that and it's been great i've had lots of support like nick i'm at the back of the line many times but the pickups are awesome you uh you have lots of fellowship with with uh, everyone running and and it feels great I, i've been feeling much better since uh, since running sleep much better yes what are your thoughts as we approach boogie the bridge are you going for a personal best time is it more for you just about pacing yourself and also um are you going to continue to run after boogie i'm going to continue to run after boogie and yes, it is. It's about pacing myself. I just really want to enjoy the whole moment. I'm not a big crowd person, so for me, it's new. And uh, I really want to make sure that it's one of the things that you remember is, is spending time with people along the run. And that they're part of your run, too. So that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to with the Boogie the Bridge. What about you, Nick Carter? Boogie the Bridge is uh, so, so two close. Weeks, two weeks from today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I, I've never done Boogie before, even though I've done the Run Club really? for years. Uh, because I usually work on the weekends, but this year I'm doing it, and uh, I've been told by many it's the atmosphere. You really want to get involved in the day. You really want to absorb all of that and enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I'm going to just share my own thoughts about how things have been going for me as well. Um, for me, you know, Boogie the Bridge, of course, is the big, uh, the big uh, climax at the end of this eight weeks. But what I've learned, Joe, is that it's important to find your niche and find your comfort zone and push yourself a little bit, but not too much. Because if you push yourself too much I find it becomes a negative thing and this is not about negativity it's everything about that's being positive right, so right. for me I will be here for Boogie the Bridge I can't wait um, but I look forward to continuing on running after yeah. this is over because I want this to be a lifelong commitment yes. because even if you're only out there three or four times a week running 5k yes. that's better than going too hard yes. and stopping after yes. April 27th and I don't want to stop yes. and you know you really said something really important is two weeks ago um, in the beginner group um, there were three ladies in their 70s who were running. Yes. And I thought, that's how I want to be when I'm in my 70s. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you guys, I really appreciate you sharing your journey with us. And Joe, uh, as far as Boogie's concerned, it's not too late to register. No, you can register right up to the day before at the Race Expo. You can even still register a corporate team. Absolutely. So there's still tons of time to register and be part of this amazing event and this amazing community of all these people that come out together. And on Boogie Day, when we have 2,000 people of us all standing together in the spirit of Kamloops and community health, uh, it's a great thing. So come down. And you don't have to run. You can walk. You can jog. You can stroll. You can run as fast as you want. It doesn't matter. We love our elite runners, too. They high-five everyone. And everyone is included. And it's about movement has changed. So. And, of course, CFJC will have its team down there. We're looking forward to donning our T-shirts. We're going to wear them at work one day, and we're all going to be wearing yes. them together in unison. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Thank, thank you for being a part thank of this. You. And uh, thank you to this huge thank group you. of people. Woo! Lots of high energy here today. Just remember this, Boogie the Bridge, it's not too late to register. April 27th is close. Lots of time though to get involved and get on board. It is an amazing community time for everybody here in Kamloops. We'll be back after a two minute break. Stay with us. Because I'm happy.